Goldilocks and the Three Bears, but with a twist, by Lucy Varga. It was a cold, rainy day. It was close to dawn, and far into the forest was a cabin. This cabin was old, squeaky, and fallen apart. And in this cabin lived a family of brown bears. The bears went out to hunt for their dinner one cold, breezy fall night. All you could hear was the rain hitting the leaves of the trees and the footsteps of the bears. Near the edge line of the forest was a road. It was a very unpopular road, but you would see a car on it about once a week. There's a reason for that, though. This road was known to be haunted. Cars would break down on it all the time, and people in the cars would try to call for help, but their phone never worked. So they would go out looking in the woods for any sign of life to help them. Everyone that has driven on this road has never been seen again. On that cold fall night that the bears were not hunting, a blonde teenage girl that was called Loxie was driving home after a party and her GPS said to turn onto this road for a shortcut. She had never heard of this road, but decided to just give it a try to get home faster. Her car starts to make weird noises and so she calls her dad. Hey dad, I'm driving home and my car is making a bunch of funky noises and this road is giving me the creeps. Can you just stay on the phone with me? says Loxie. Yeah, can you describe the noises it's making, her dad says. Then suddenly, her car starts to slow down, and she loses the call with her dad. At this point, she is crying and freaking out. Now, Loxie lived quite far out into the country, so her dad didn't think anything about it. She sits in her car for about an hour, and then she finally builds up the courage to go out and search for help. She goes down the road a little bit and starts to spook herself out and runs back to her car, hoping someone had found her, but nothing. So she sat in her car all night, wide awake, scared out of her skin. She didn't know what to do. Morning came, and she thought to herself, Okay, it's morning now. It's not so scary out anymore. I'm going to go out and look for any kind of life. So she starts to get out of her car and starts walking down the road, but sees nothing. She decides to go look in the woods. She starts to walk, and she turns around and notices she can't see the road anymore. She just shrugs her shoulders and keeps walking. Deeper, deeper, and deeper, and sees nothing. She decides that she's done enough searching for today and decides to head back to her car. She walked and walked and walked and walked. She thought to herself, I've been walking for a very long time. She starts to freak out because the sun is starting to go down and she can't find her car. She starts running. Nothing. Just seems like she's going in circles. But in the distance, she sees smoke. She starts sprinting and gets closer and closer, and it's a log cabin. She starts jumping. She's so happy. She knocks on the door. No answer. She knocks again. No answer. She knocked one more time, but this time the door cracked open. Loxie poked her head inside the house. Hello, she says, but no one said anything. Anyone here? My car is broken down, and I've been stuck here since last night, and I just want to go home. No answer. Loxie walks into the house and sees a table with steaming hot soup, water, and bread. She sits down and s starts eating like a pig. She, s she was starving after not eating for almost a whole day of walking and running. She gets up from the table and starts to explore this old wood cabin, and she notices three chairs. One made of wood branches, one made of leaves and dirt, and the last one was made of hay. She sits in the wood one, but it's far too hard. So she sits in the one made of leaves and dirt, but it's too soft. So she sits in the one made of hay. Perfect, she says. She then moves the chair to face out the window. She starts to get tired, so she, so she gets up and starts exploring the log cabin again. She finds a wood staircase. She walks up the stairs and sees fi she finds three beds lined up against the wall. She lays in the first one, too hard and too big, she says. She lays in the middle one, too soft and still too big. She then lays in the last one. Ah, perfect. She crawls under the covers and tries falling asleep. Meanwhile, downstairs, someone walks in. It was the bears. They notice someone ate all their soup and bread, and they get mad and start growling. They then walk into the next room, and the baby cub sees his chair has been moved. Out of anger, he picks it up and throws it out the window. Loxie wakes up to the noise and gets up in a fast motion. She g looks around the corner, down the stairs, and sees the bears. She freaks out, so she breaks the upstairs window, jumps out, and she lands on her ankle funky, and she thinks she breaks it, but she just ignores the pains and runs. 
The bears run out the front door chasing after her. She thinks she's getting away, so she slows down. Out of nowhere, the papa bear jumps out of the bush. At that exact time, a family was driving down that exact road and notices Loxley's car. And in the distance of the forest, they hear a soft scream. And at that moment, their car breaks down. The end. Thank you for listening to the story. That story was called Goldilocks and the Three Bears and was adapted by Lucy Varga and performed by Lucy Varga. If you enjoyed the story, you can hear more at WJHS On Air as well as on YouTube. Find more by searching for our channel called WJHS Studios. Thank you.